Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be going over the 2018 Honda CRV today. First things first, if it's your first time being here, make sure you like the video, help me out, and subscribe as well uh, for future content and other vehicles. Uh, and then leave a comment below if you have any questions about this vehicle or other vehicles you'd like to see in the future. Well, let's get into it and talk about the 2018 CRV. This is the EX model in Basque Red Pearl. There's a lot of standard features on the vehicle now, including 18 inch alloy wheels, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Honda Sensing, just to name a few. So we're going to do an inside-outside review, we'll walk around it, check it out, and then we'll do a, do a driving portion as well so you can see my opinion on how it handles. Thanks again for stopping by. If you're a first-time viewer, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks, guys. So on the outside, you'll notice on the EX and higher, you're going to have uh, these nice alloy 18 inch wheels standard. And then over on the driver's side with the key, you can just little, tap these little ridges here and that's gonna lock it. And then you grab the handle and that's going to unlock it automatically. And then you can get in and start the vehicle. You have your blind spot indicators on both mirrors, that little logo right there, that's gonna light up orange and beep if you're cutting over with your blinker there's somebody in your blind spot and then you'll have the blinkers on the mirrors on both sides right there coming along to the back you have the LED brake lights and LED daytime running lights in the front and the lines of the 2017 and 18 CRV in the front and the back are a little bit more modern and aggressive I think they appeal to more people uh, they've definitely uh, started to keep up with the times now and they're not as dated looking all right guys coming around to the back this power or this tailgate is not power you get the power tailgate in the exl and touring model standard in the touring model you would get the uh, hands-free option where you can open it with your feet down below there would be a little sensor there and you kick your foot and it'll open automatically but in the newer crv you have plenty of space here the car is a little bit longer and wider and this little tray here this is your flat floor this tray is actually just going to drop down about an inch to give you more space if you have luggage back there and all of your seats are up and you have a car full of people. So that's nice to give you a little bit more space to utilize there. And then you have these little cargo dividers here and here. And when this is up, it creates kind of a pocket on both sides. Uh, you do get the cargo cover in most CRV standard from the factory. And that's spring loaded. It just drops into those slots over there. And then it will pull across and slide right into place like that to keep all of your belongings private or cool and out of the sun back there. Over here in the uh, standard CRV nature, they're going to give you the handles to pull, and that's going to make it nice and convenient so you can pull the uh, or fold these seats down flat. So you got a handle there, and there's a handle there. So if I pull this, those are going to go down flat, and same thing on this side. That one goes down slowly but surely, and it will go down flat. That seat's just a little bit far back. So getting into the back seat area, one big thing I like to point out and that I, I like about the car is you'll notice the doors open a full 90 degrees. So it's super easy to get in no matter who you are or how tall or short you are. You can kind of just jump right in and it's, it's a little bit lower than hip height so you can slide right in. The seats are far more comfortable than what they used to be with the new stitching pattern and cushioning. So whether you have leather or not, this is just your basic cloth and the EX and lower, you're still going to be pretty comfortable. This is going to come down. In the center here, armrest cup holders, and then they finally included actually four USB ports total, two in the back here, and then you have air vents as well to stay cool. But both doors do open 90 degrees, plenty of space in the back. And then you could pull on these seats up here as well and fold those flat down as well. On the new CRV, you're going to have the electronic parking brake which frees up a ton of foot space down below where your left foot would sit. So sort of like the Accord and all the newer Hondas, you're going to have your pad of buttons over here. That's your road departure mitigation, collision mitigation, and traction control. Two of those are part of the Honda Sensing Suite that you get on the EX and higher. And over here are the rest of your Honda Sensing buttons. Like all of the newer Hondas go, you're going to have your lane keep assist, right here and your adaptive cruise control adjustment buttons here. The rest of that is cruise control and then over here is your volume, radio controls, and info button which will change 
everything you see in that screen right there, which is your LCD screen. On the LCD screen here, you're going to have all of your info options, just like the new Pilot, Accord, CRV, and Civic, where if you hit the info button, it'll actually cycle through your uh, fuel consumption, driver attention monitor, maintenance, music, phone, switch it to kilometers, and back to your info here as well. Over here, you'll have your push button start, standard on the EX and higher, you have the regular key, for the LX model, which has the 2.4 liter four cylinder engine, not the turbo. And then here you have your volume knob and your um, air conditioning knobs, climate control here, regular touch screen like normal. And then I just like the nice flat lines along the whole dash so you can see everything around the whole front and side of the car. You'll notice up top the hood slopes down nice and evenly so you can see what's in front of you, but they have the, the flares on the left and the right side uh, which come up from the fenders. So you can see the left and the right side of the car as you're parking. That's a nice benefit of that that I like. I don't think it's a, a flaw or I don't think it's in the way of your visibility. I think it helps see the edges of the cars, uh, especially for shorter people like myself. Coming up here, you're gonna have your sunroof which is standard on the EX and higher. Here's your sunroof controls. And then coming down, you're gonna have your climate control, automatic climate control with heated seats on both passenger and driver side. And if you hit the climate button, you're going to be able to adjust everything by touch and swipe up and down like that. Air conditioning on and off, pretty cool. Down here you're going to have a lot of space here, power outlet, cup holders, and then this slides back and forth, and then up, and then you can remove this little piece or slide it back, and as you can see there's tons of storage down there. If we bring it back and remove it, there's even more space down there, and then down below is where you're going to have your other second power outlet, 12 volt, and then you have your other two USB ports. The USB port on the left is the one where you would plug in your USB cable for your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto.